Crouch, touch, pause, engage. Four words spoken by one person, yet so dearly anticipated by many others. You may not know what these words mean, but you'll soon find out. Rugby is a rapidly growing sport and can easily be described as the best one. But in order for me to prove my point, I will show you rugby's origins and I'll compare it to a common sport like American football. Um, and in order to compare it though, you'll need to know how the game works. So I'll also teach you how the game works. But contrary to popular belief, rugby isn't a game where you just hit people. We have values now, we like to maintain those values. So I'll teach you our values. The thing I hate the most is when I tell somebody I play rugby and they say, oh yeah, it's like football, right? No, no, no. Rugby is not football. In fact, football is merely the splinter that came off of the log that is rugby. Um, rugby started in the 1830s uh, in the UK at rugby school. Uh, it is said that the first man credited with running with a ball was a pupil at rugby school. His name was William Webb Ellis. This is a monumental change from what we call soccer. But rugby split into two different codes. The more popular code is, and more commonly known, is rugby union. Whenever people say, I play rugby, whenever someone just says rugby in general, it means rugby union. But the other is rugby league. But, and it wasn't until 1871 that the rugby football union was created. Eventually, rugby union reached America, and that was when Americans started making their own changes. American football eliminated the use of a scrum, which is a tight pack of players that pushes upon the opposing pack of players to fight for ball possession. American football players didn't want to have to fight for possession. Pads. American football brought pads. They thought that they were being safe, but these days there are more injuries in football than in rugby. <clears throat> rugby players use specially developed techniques to get low, to get the man down, and to not get hurt. When you play it right, you play it safe. Football players also separated the plays into downs. This means the game is constantly stopping. It's Rugby players have continuous play, and they have to constantly use their brain to analyze quick situations. Rugby also doesn't allow forward passes, but football changed that. The team on the field consists of 15 players. The players are divided into two parts, forwards and backs. I'm a forward. We're typically the bigger guys, used for hitting, rucking, and scrumming. And the backs are usually the smaller, more agile guys, and they're usually the guys who do all the scoring. They get all the glory. Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> the game itself starts with a kickoff. The receiving team runs down, runs down to the field with the ball until the ball carrier goes down. This is where Americans get confused, so pay attention. When the ball goes down, play does not stop. Instead, opposing teams try to push each other off the ball in what is called a ruck. Um, would you come up here just a little bit? A ruck is when the ball is on the ground and the two players, or more depending on the situation, usually they come into each other or they'll bind up with their heads under their shoulders like this and they push off and fight. And they fight for possession. That's why it's very important for them to have good rucking so that they can maintain ball possession. Should a player drop a ball and it bounces forward, the referee will blow the whistle and call a knock-on. The opposing team is then awarded a scrum, which I already told you about before. But a scrum, a little more detail, is when the forwards of both teams bind up in tight packs. The referee then calls crouch, touch, pause, engage, to signal that the teams may start pushing against each other, and that is when the ball is rolled in. There are two players called hooks in the front of each pack, and their job is to try and kick the ball back for their team. That's my job. And whoever has a better hook, hooks the ball back, wins possession. Whoever wins possession continues play until someone dies, or a point is scored, or there's a knock-on, or some fouls. Another scenario is when the ball goes <laughs> out of bounds. The hook throws the ball back into his team. The team's job is to lift a player into the air to catch the ball. It's called a line-out. Both teams have 
their own line as they try to get the ball from the air. The, the man who's being lifted will throw the ball back to his scrum half and play will resume. A try is five points, and this is the basic gist of the game. Now, rugby football, the Rugby Football Union, or the RFU, put together core values that accurately describe how I feel about rugby. The first value is teamwork. Everyone has to be working their hardest in order for the team to be successful. We encourage players to work their hardest. And it's easier to encourage our players in rugby because the team is a brotherhood. I love running alongside my brothers on the field, and I would gladly take a hit for any one of them. There is no other place where I felt this brotherhood on a field. The second value is respect. We respect ourselves, our opponents, the officials, and the officials' decisions. The third value is enjoyment. I mean, it's why we play a sport. We enjoy rugby, it's why we play it. Rugby is very fun. The fourth value is discipline. We have to work hard at practice so that we can work hard in our matches. It can be very difficult to condition for hours, but in the end it pays off. The last value is sportsmanship. We win with dignity, but lose with grace. At the end of each match, we shake hands with the other team, say good game, and we pick out what's called a man of the match. So all the teams get together at the very end, and our team goes through and finds what we say is their best forward and their best back, and we give them a shirt from our team. This is one of them. And then the other team does the same thing for us. <clears throat> um, the friendships built between teams and players is amazing to see because we may go out on the field and take a guy down, maybe give some bloody noses, but at the end we're shaking hands and we're all friends. Rugby, um, the rugby ball is, was, is bigger than a football. Football players made it a little bit smaller. But like I said, football players added a forward pass. Rugby players, you can only pass sideways or backwards. But here is the rugby ball. See, it's not as pointy as a football. It's more designed um, for kicking. But in football, ball, footballs are better for throwing. Rugby balls are better for kicking. So, rugby is an amazing sport, and dare I say it, the best one. I work hard on and off the field to maintain my values and my pride for my team. I also work hard to get people to notice rugby, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far. You don't have to go, you don't have to immediately go out and join a team, but now that you know that's out there, look up where a local match will be held and go watch. It means a lot to us when you support Idaho's finest. One last thing is a quote from the RFU that I think separates rugby from the rest of the world. We play to win, but not at all costs and recognize both endeavor and achievement.